and welcome to a Valenstar number two. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go through um, our open strings, then have a little look at um, our four basic rhythms that we'll be looking rhythm values, and then on to reading some music, hopefully in this video. So what we're going to do first, grab your violin and let's check our setup. So we want a nice round hand here, and we will get onto fingers shortly after we have gained a lovely big sound. We want to have a look at our bow, we'll make sure our thumb's bent underneath, pinky's sitting on top. Fab. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do four crotchet Gs and then four beats wrists. So we'll go G, two, three, four, then wait, two, three, four, then G. And we will do two repetitions of the on G. Um, I will talk us through it. Ready? So nice round bow hold, make sure your arms, forearms nice and high. Ready, four open Gs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait, two, and let's do that one more time on G now. Wait, two, and let's go on to the D string now. And. between G and D just now. So if you feel the difference, let's rock our bow between D and A now. And let's rock our A bow between A and E. So we can feel every time that we do a string crossing, our arm is responsible for that level. So let's have a go now. Um, at, instead of doing four quaver, four crotchets, we're going to do eight quavers. Now every crotchet is equal to eight quavers because crotch is worth, worth one beat and a cr single quaver is worth half a beat. So four crotchets would give us eight quavers. So we'll sound like this, so make sure we can count to eight, so it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and this time we'll just do eight G strings and a bar rest and then D rest, A rest and E, but I'll talk us through it. Ready? So on quaver, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And wait, two, now go to D now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, two, and now on the A and. Wait, two, and now on the E now. Brilliant. Let's just have another go at that so you can um, get another go at that. Ready? So now jump both hold, make sure your arms nice and high for the G string. Ready? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Two, now go to D now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Two, now rock to the A now. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Two, now roll to E now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant, well done. Um, let's have a look at, um, I'm going to have a look at minims now. So within a 4-4 four, four bar, you can have either four crotchets or eight quavers, but then we've got another value of a minim that we hold a note for two beats. So it sounds like this. So one, two, one, two. Let's just have a go doing minims just now and let's just practice just on the G only. Just going one, two, one, two. So we need a slow bow, but we need to make sure we're able to stop the bow after two. Ready? So just practice on G. So three, four. One, two, one, two. Let's do it once again on G. Off we go now. One, two, one, two. And let's do 
one more time on G9. Great. Now let's go through the similar exercise we did before. We're going to do two minims on G and then wait for four beats. Then we're going to go D string for two minims. Then wait a bar, then A string, wait a bar, then E. But I'll talk us through it. Ready, so on G string, make sure we've got a nice round bow hold, bent thumb underneath, this hand's nice and round. So, ready, so we're going to start on the G, so we're going to hold for two beats. So one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, and wait, two, three, now on to the D string. Two, one, two, wait, two, now go to A. Wait. Two, and now the E. Good, let's just do that one more time because I think we'll get in the hang of um, the different feels, how, how it feels on the bow. So let's do minimum thumps again. One, two, we hold for two beats. One, two, one, two, and wait. Two, now go to D now. Two, one, two, wait. Two, and now the A. Wait, two, and now the E. Brilliant, well done. We've just got one last rhythm to have a little look at, and that is the semi beat where we hold a note on for four beats. So that means we need to have a nice slow bow. So let's have a go on the G string. We'll do two semi breeze on G. Ready? So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, and best, let's do that again right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's have a go going through the same um, cycle going through the open strings. So we're going to do two semi breeze on G, then a bar off, two semi breeze on D, etc. So let's have a go and I'll talk us through. Now try and bow make sure your thumb's bent, there's fingers hopping over, and remember. We want a gap between our arm and body. Ready? So one, two, semi three for four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait, now go to the D string now. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Wait, now go to the A string now. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now rock your bow to E. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And as part of your warm up, it'd be great to, um, if you can just warm up with your orchestra's really feeling and counting the beats in your bow. So what we're going to do um, before we finish up, we're going to have a look at some bowing patterns. So the first rhythm, we're going to do all together down up. So if we were to clap that, that would sound like and um, te 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 ta ta. So just sing that in your head for a second. So te 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 ta ta. So the words would be all together down up. Let's sing it one more time and off we go. All together down up. So how you play that on the violin is with the bow. Imagine the bow is speaking the words. So it would sound like all together down up. Okay, I'll do one more time so the sound. All together down up. Let's have a go together on the G string. So ready? So nice high arm. So three, four. All together down up. Let's do it one more time. Off we go. One more time now. All together down up. Brilliant. Let's have another go at rhythm. Let's have a little go at I. So I like jelly babies. So sit, stick on the G string so it's going to sound like this. I like jelly babies. And if we were to clap that rhythm, that would just be ta, ta, te, 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 te. Let's have a go. Just um, you guys just say the words along at home. So three. And so I like jelly babies. So let's have a go with the bow now. So remember the rhythm is I like jelly babies. Let's have a go. 
Ready, one, two, off we go. I like jelly beans. Wait, two, let's do it one more time now. I like jelly beans. Great, so that's another um, little exercise you can have a go on all the different strings. And let's just do one more just before, we'll, we'll try two more in um, before we finish up. We're going to do one for the whole bow with a minimum. So we're going to go red roof tops red roof tops so imagine our minimum it'll sound like this so red roof tops red roof tops so just sing the words and i'll play it once it's gonna go red roof tops wait two and listen one more time red roof tops let's have a go together please nice and full hold Ready, so three, four, red, roof tops, wait, two, and once again, red, roof tops, bam, and one last one, so um, this is going to have our semi brief in it as well, so it's going to go down, up, down, up, stroke, the down, bow, so it'll sound like this, down, up, down, up, stroke, down, bow. So we can see that we've got our four beats in the long semi brief so we really need to hold the bow. Let's have a go um, let's have a go clapping it just now. So the words are down, up, down, up, stroke the down bow. So it's gonna let's clap and sing the words, so it's gonna go down, up, down, up, stroke the down bow. Okay, I'll play it once and just sing the words along one more time, three. Four. Down, up, down, up, stroke, down, 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 Okay, so down, up, down, up, stroke, down, down, Let's have a go with you at home on your violin. So it's just four crotchet G's followed by a seven three. Ready? So now try and bow hold and make sure your fingers hovering over the stick as you've got a little bit of get gap between our arm and body. Ready? So, and we're on the G's nice high arm. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this two, let's do it again now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This two, and one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, Great, and let's see if we can, we'll do one, one last one just for our whole boat and with a BD up bow. So we're going to do down, bow, up. So we're going to have a minimum followed by a crotchet. Because the minimum's got two beats in it, the crotchet's only got one beat. So to be able to balance it like a seesaw, we're going to go down, then fast bow up. So it'll sound like this. Can you see how fast and light that up bow is? Let's have a go. So just listen again. So down, bow, up. Let's have a go together. Ready? So nice round bow hold. High arm. So three, four. So down, bow, up. And if you prefer to count it in numbers, it'll be um, one, two, up. So one, two, up. One more time. One, two, up. One last time. One, two, up. So, as you can see, um, we've gone through a few bowing patterns. and um, Most of you should have the music for this. If you don't have the music for it, just give me a message on email and I can send the music out for you. So we've gone over our four rhythms. So we've got crotchets, minims, um, semi briefs and quavers. And we've gone through our bowing patterns in this video. Bye for now, guys.